I really love Miles Morales. I, I, I think it's one of the best superheroes in order to farm impressions on Twitter. If I'm not mistaken, Yellow Flash does this occasionally, uh, or, or was it the Umbrella guy? I, I forgot which one. But one of them basically posts something negative about Miles Morales, and immediately you get an army of people going like, racist, racist, racism, racism. Uh, even though like they personally do not buy any sort of merchandise with Miles Morales, like, like they do not seem to enjoy him. It's just like they enjoy attacking people who don't like the character. That that is so American, isn't it? Well, but more likely, like so, Twitter. Um, so so, what what exactly is the problem with Miles Morales? Is it due to the fact that he is black? And the answer is no. That there are many, many famous and popular black superheroes out there that are actually doing very well. Uh, Blade comes to mind. Uh, black Panther, especially Cyborg. Like, there are many black characters that are actually popular, and it's not just that people want to watch shows and read comics with them, but they actually purchase merchandise. Uh, Miles Morales doesn't seem to be it. So, so why exactly is that? Well, theoretically, he's not even Miles Morales. Like, he's Spider-Man, right? Now, now, let's look at the original Spider-Man and how it was created, and you're going to see that it's very similar to how Black Panther came to be, and it's also very similar to how Blade came to be. It's something called originality, and it's something called creativity. Uh, two things that modern culture, especially on Twitter, seem to lack fundamentally. But basically, you, you look at Peter Parker, right? So, so Peter Parker wasn't built with the concept of representation in mind. He was built with the concept of relatability in mind. Like, Peter Parker is a kid who gets bullied at school, uh, who grows up without parents, and has to mature really quickly. And he also understands that if you allow evil to flourish, then eventually it can come back and haunt you. So even though he was justified in not stopping the criminal, uh, because he didn't stop the criminal, it ended up killing Uncle Ben. And, and that is like the character origin. Now, now I want you to realize that people who like Peter Parker, they, they don't like him because of the skin color, because literally anyone can be that Peter Parker. All you have to do is to have a childhood where you get bullied at school or, or one where you're forced to grow up really fast or, or one where you're impoverished. And all of a sudden, the struggle that Peter Parker is facing are, are very real to, to the struggle that you're experiencing. So again, relatability is the key here. Like It doesn't matter if Peter Parker was Chinese. The way you depicted him, the way you, you presented him was already enough to get me to care about his story to, to, to actually feel a connection with the character. So, so that is like number one, it's relatability. It's like he's experiencing certain hardships that everyone else does, right? Uh, the, the second problem, the, sorry, the second uh, reason why people like Peter Parker is the abilities. Like when, when Spider Man became a thing, it was an original superhero, it was an original concept. Um, like, okay, so, so you get to jump between buildings like Tarzan. And you get to shoot spider webs, and you get to do all these cool acrobatics, and you get superhuman strength and agility. A lot of kids like that. I, I mean, no other superhero had those abilities at the time, so it was like a completely original concept. So those two things together made Spider-Man into one of the most iconic superheroes. And then it's also, you know, the villains that he is fighting, of course, and the fact that he's just the neighborhood Spider-Man, like I like other superheroes that are dealing with uh, world-ending events. Uh, Spider-Man is just dealing with protecting his neighborhood and the common people. Okay, so when you look at that, you notice that other characters, like for example, Blade, has similarities. Like when Blade came out, he was original. He had like uh, special abilities and the story that he was telling was, was quite unique. It was like a mature story with blood and gore and, and he's like a half vampire and, and he's really badass. So so again, like it's the originality concept. Uh, Black Panther as well, like like it's it's really cool. It's, it's from this uh, uh, other country that, that was uh, shrouded in mystery. It's very technologically advanced. So on and so forth. Like, like you notice that all of these heroes have something unique to them. Um, but when you look at Miles Morales, like, like he's the first, I think, uh, race-swapped superhero. Like, like literally, that, that's how they presented him as, like, black Spider-Man. He's just like a black guy and put on the Spider-Man suit, so now he's Spider-Man. And it's like, it's just boring. It's a cop-out. 
Like, I'm sorry, and there's no relatability. Now, 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 if Miles Morales would get banned from social media for speaking the truth, and he got labeled by the Trust and Safety Council as misinformation, or if he got banned for saying a joke, then all of a sudden I can relate with the character, even though he's a different skin color, I can be like, wow, he's experiencing the same struggles that me and my friends are. Right? And if Miles Morales would, would try to take down the, the corruption... That, that's happening where, where, where the average person is prevented from speaking their mind on the internet, where, where someone out there, like the diversity hags, get to decide what, what the average people get to talk online, yeah, then all of a sudden his story would be really interesting, and I, and I would love to see what he can do with that, but, but they're not going in that direction. Um, instead, they're going for the direction of racism. As, as you can see here, due to the lack of popularity of the superhero... They have tried their, their utmost best in order to throw everything at him, like hoping something will stick, right? Apparently, like having an army of people that criticize you online for not thinking that this is the best superhero ever is not enough to, to sell comic books. And, and I just want you to see how racist this is, right? Like, like, first of all, there's no diversity here, right? Everyone is black. Okay. Uh, if, if you did this with white people, they, they would call you a Nazi. So, so, like, you're already training people to think this way. Like, like you're, you're already doing all these stories to, to train people to think that if there's no diversity, there's something wrong with the picture. And this is the first thing that you're showing in this comic book, right? And, and then you get to see Asgard, right? Of all the five realms, Asgard is his hood. And they do a lot of emphasis in order to show the shoes. And, and they, they're having, like, shoes that are hanging around on, on this line for some reason. I guess it's something American, like we don't do this in Romania. I, I generally like, do not understand what this is supposed to mean, but but I but I assume it's something that's happening in California now. So so like okay, Asgard is his hood. It's like why are you using the word hood? Is because he's black? It, are, are you going to use like the trailer park if it was a white character? Are you going to use the hills if if it was a redneck? Huh? Like d don't you think that it's a little bit offensive like to throw in all of these stereotypes together in one picture? Um. And of course, like, he's rapping as well. Like, like, look how many stereotypes they're trying to throw in. And, and again, like, if you don't like this character, you're the racist one. Like, oh, you, you need to remember that. Uh, the Rainbow Bridge, another stereotype. Uh, I mean, it, it has to be Democratic, right? Like, he votes Democrat. Uh, to him is the quest. The Bifrost Line goes north, south, east, and west. Again, with the rap lyrics. Uh, he is stuck in the Asgard Zoo. But he is Loki when he wants to be name of the Maquis like his uncle Loki. Yeah, I, I just, I just, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> the, the very fact that you think black people like reading this stuff shows how detached you are from reality. They would rather read manga. Like, I guarantee to you, if, if you take, like, a random black person from the United States and you give him the opportunity to read this or My Hero Academia, I know where my body is going. Like, I, I know what they're going to pick. Like, this is so obvious of what you're trying to do. And look, it's it's a city environment. I just, I just want you to... It's a city environment and this guy has, like, a car being dragged by a goat. I, I, I just... Wow. Right, and, and no one gets to call these people as being racist. Very interesting. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.